Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And I don't know if you guys remember or have been following up recently, but apparently you can unlock a some some RTX 2060 Super graphics cards up to an RTX 2070. So if you're unfamiliar, uh, the most notable, I guess, past example we have is AMD's Phenom 2s, and these and the three core up to the four core you used to be able through a BIOS update. Um, to be able to unlock cores that have been disabled from AMD, obviously this is through NVIDIA, but you used to be able to unlock those and then get more access uh, to all those cores. And this was originally a super cool thing, and this obviously didn't happen all the time. Um, if you're unfamiliar why cores and, I guess, in some cases, graphics cards are downgraded to uh, older models, or not older models, but lower models, is they're trying to actually end up saving money because what happens is sometimes you'll get defects in the card. You'll get like a, I don't know, something that's wrong. One of the processing cores is broken, uh, it didn't come out right, and so they just disable that one core uh, or processing unit for NVIDIA and they sell it as a three core for the Phenom. They sold it as a three core, or they sold it as a three core and then uh, people sometimes would luck out and get a actual core that was working. Now there's two reasons why they actually end up as uh, disabling them. One is because there's an actual issue with the core, um, which you really can't do anything about, it won't work. Uh, and this is the same for what's going to happen with these new cards when we get them and we figure out how to unlock them. Uh, but the second thing is, sometimes there is a surplus of a certain CPU. For example, you have a high tier card, but you don't want to oversaturate the market and you don't want to lower prices, so you downgrade some of these so that way you can sell more of the new cards. And so that leaves two kinds of RTX 2060 Supers, and actually there are 2070 Supers, there are technically 2080s that you could possibly upgrade. So here's kind of the breakdown. So there are two types of each one of these cards. These are downgraded cards and actual RTX 2060 Supers. So we have an the RTX so the downgraded cards are actually RTX 2070s that are downgraded to RTX 2060 Supers. Now, that would explain why we have 8 gigabytes of memory, um, and there are of course those cards, and then there's the actual RTX 2060s uh, Supers, and th those are not downgraded. And so you've got a, of course, a lottery of getting either one of those, um, and then on top of that you have a lottery of actually getting an RTX 2060 Super that is a 20, actually, well, downgraded 2070 that has the potential to be unlocked. Now also for another clear important piece of information here is that the RTX 2070 uh, downgraded currently is, we, no one really understands, we do know that it's the original GPU that has been downgraded but currently there is no known way to transfer or um, re-upgrade it, I guess is the right word. So obviously with the BIOS flash and there's a bunch of other information you can tweak around with, we still don't have a concrete way to go through and change it. Now I make this video because it's important information to get out there. The reason why I'm making this video is so people will see this and be like, ooh, that's cool. Because if you raise if we raise awareness of it, there will be someone out there that does figure it out. It's not it's not like a wild walk in the park. If this is actually something that could be done if enough research is done and someone actually comes up with a way. Now the problem with this is just like the Phenom, there were pretty low rates of actually getting success with it. I believe it was like 36% is if you bought a Phenom 3, you had a 36% chance of actually getting a working uh, upgraded and unlocking the extra core. So in reality, it may just be another added bonus to when you go out and you buy a 2060 Super or an RTX 2070 Super, it may just be an added bonus that you possibly could have the ability to do it. Now my guess, and this is just my personal guess, is it's probably some hardware um, slight modification so that a lot of the board partners can do a quick modification on the cards and sell um, maybe some lower end model or sell the higher end models uh, as a 2060 Super so it's the newer product and people will be interested in buying it. So my guess is something they can easily do. Therefore, it will probably be a some type of hardware modification where you just have to solder or maybe remove something from the board, solder something onto the board, something like that, which also raises in the question that it may be a little bit more invasive than the BIOS update for the Phenom 2. It may actually be something where you have to have a little bit of know-how and honestly it may be worth it if you're really into 50 bucks, trying to save 50 bucks, 
Um, and as for the case of the 2070 uh, at super going up to a 20A, that also may be something you want to consider as possibly being able to try this. Now my guess though is it's going to be a difficult process because when you remove something from the board, you're risking you know damaging the product. First off, your warranty's out the window. Second of all, there's a lot of like risks that are going to come into play with this. As I said, your warranty's out the window. That just right out the window. Next up is you're going to be either taking this off, taking whatever thing on, or you're taking a component off, and you're going to test it. If it doesn't work, which who knows what the consequences of it not working are going to be, because there's all types of defects, so you don't know which gamble you're getting. You could fry everything. Um, not, not within reason, but possibly, you get the point. And then you remove it, you find out it doesn't work, so you put it back on. And of course, this requires soldering know-how. Um, if, that, if that's the kind of fix that they're using, if it's something physically on the die, I'm sorry, unless you, I, no, you can't really fix silicon, so, or silicon, however you like to pronounce it, you really can't fix it. So, no hope. So really, it comes down to hopefully it's something on the board that's fixable, like or not fixable, but something you can actually do on the board. And then it's also something that would require a BIOS update, um, a lot of messing around in the configuration on the graphics card. So you'd have to physically change something on the board and probably do BIOS and a bunch of other software-related stuff to get a working card. Now, is that worth the 50 bucks? Um, for me, I think it would personally take a little bit more than what I could work for in my free time. So I might be able to work pay get more money to actually buy a higher end car rather than the time I'd be investing in trying to get a 2070 super uh upgraded to a 2080. Now I'm not saying that this is going to be something that's definitely going to be a challenge. Someone's definitely going to do it and I know online it's a matter of time before someone figures out how to or at least a theoretical way of doing so. I think that in time we definitely should see some stuff if it's not on the silicon. Uh if it's is on the silicon, there's really no hope, and there may never ever be a upgraded 2060 Super to a 2070, um, but in the reality, it may be a good idea to say, hey, you know, it would be nice, You maybe a BIOS update, maybe some motherboards decide, hey, you know, we're going to throw in a BIOS in there, we can upgrade your Supers for you, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but for me, I definitely don't think it's going to be just a BIOS update. And, or NVIDIA is a little too smart for that, and I think AMD kind of learned their lesson with the Phenom. Uh, that they're not going to make, uh, AMD is not going to make the same mistake for sure. They haven't already, and I don't think NVIDIA is going to follow suit either. I think it's going to be a quite difficult challenge, and not as simple as a BIOS update. Um, even that's pretty difficult on a graphics card, if you know what you're doing. So, as I said, this is going to be an interesting, uh, I guess time will tell whether or not it's something that's feasible. So, the reason why I said why I make this video is to bring you guys aware that this is physic theoretically... If it was easy, NVIDIA made it easy, theoretically, be a possible way of doing so. Um, a possibility. Ability to go through and upgrade your graphics card. Now, wouldn't that be nice? NVIDIA went through and be like, hey, we've got the RTX 2060, some RTX 2060 supers, and there's a lottery. Some of them actually upgrade. If you're interested, you should buy a 2060 Super. And possibly, like a random chance, you get a 2070. Now, that would be a great way to sell some graphics cards. And honestly, it would, even if the dies themselves were damaged and you couldn't actually upgrade to the 2070, it still would just like look like you got a regular 2060 Super and not actually the ability to upgrade um, to a 2070. So I think that would have been a really good way to play it off Instead, we're disabling some stuff so that we, we can sell more 2060 Supers. I don't know. I'm not a marketing expert. I do computer engineering, so who knows. But thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you're interested in seeing follow-up, if something actually ends up happening from it, I'd definitely be interested. I don't have any RTX 2060 Super builds anytime soon, so I don't know if I'd be trying that out. But I definitely think it's something to consider if you're interested. Uh, it's something to at least pay attention to and of course I'll post some stuff more about it if there's more to be talked about on this channel if you want to consider subscribing for that that'd be great like the video if you enjoyed as always have a wonderful day hope this video was entertaining and as interesting as I found the topic have a good night I guess goodbye